welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelica Fitzgerald. If you are new, and if you are not new, welcome back. So today we are gonna be reviewing some Clarins skincare products, as you can tell from the title, and see if they are worth your money. So a couple of videos ago, I reviewed some Clarins makeup, their primer to be specific, and I absolutely loved it. Literally covered up these massive pimples <laughs> I had on my face and primed my face, got it perfectly ready, blurred everything so that when I put my foundation and all of my other makeup products on, my skin looked flawless. So I actually got a lot of Instagram DMs asking if I could review a budget-friendly product that was a basic skincare product. Um, basically back to the simple basic stuff, something that you could find at Ulta, something that you could just find online that does not cost an arm and a leg. So I figured, I know Clarence is mainly skincare actually, I just happened to review one of their makeup products. And with how much I liked their makeup product, I thought, let me try their skincare stuff. I've never used their skincare stuff before, so that's what we're gonna be doing today, is testing out their skincare products. So I have two products I'm going to be reviewing, and this is called their Pore Clearing Duo. I typically like to start with a pore clearing type of bundle because I feel like it's just a good place to start with any new skincare brand. It's like if you test a certain group of products within a skincare brand, you can tell how the rest of their skincare products are gonna act. For me, that's always been pore clearing products. If it can clean my pores, then it can probably clean everything else. So I am starting with their pore clearing duo. So in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing their rebalancing clay mask, which is this little guy. And I'm gonna be reviewing their purifying gel scrub, which is this little guy. Now, one thing I have noticed about Clarins stuff that I noticed with their primer is their products are very, very small. So, they don't really offer a bigger size, unfortunately. I mean, the prices match the size, so it does make sense, but you will have to refill these quite often. Like, it won't last you for months on end. Just gonna throw that out there. So in this video, I'm gonna remove my makeup, I'm gonna cleanse my face, do whatever I need to do, and then we're gonna get into reviewing these products. So if you are ready to see if these products are worth your money, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below to keep up with my future videos. Now, let's see if these products work. All right, guys, literally between the clip you just saw and this, it was been like 45 minutes because I got notified that I couldn't film anymore because my memory card was full. Oh, it's so frustrating. Anyways, we're back. I'm gonna take my makeup off, clean it, and we're gonna get to reviewing these products. So I'm gonna go in with my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes first and then a cleanser, and that's all I'm gonna do before I go in with the Clarins products. I'm gonna speed through them really fast since we are just talking about the Clarins products today, um, but just wanted to let y'all know if you're interested in any of the other products I use in this video, I will link all of them down in the description box below. All right guys, a lot of the makeup's off. Time to go in and actually clean it. So I'm gonna go in with my Kors Face Cleanser. This stuff is so awesome. So I'm gonna clean my face real fast with this and then we'll be back to start reviewing the Clarence products. All right guys, so I just cleansed my face. It feels so clean, I seriously adore the Kors cleanser. If you really are interested in a gentle, all around fabulous cleanser, I would highly suggest that one. I've used it for years now and it just always has my face feeling nice and tight and glowy and clean. So what I'm gonna go in next with is the exfoliating gel by Clarins. This is my very first time using it. Literally haven't even opened it. So we have a little bit of first impressions going on right now. I'm really anxious to see if it has a scent. Ooh, it does, but I can't tell what it is. It's like a cucumbery, maybe? It smells so fresh. Um, I love the smell of it. So this does retail for $26. Not that bad of a price, and it also is a very gentle exfoliator. It says you can use this one to twice a week. Um, in my opinion, that's pretty gentle. The really, really rough ones I use once a week max, usually like once every other week. 
um, but this one you can use up to twice a week. So I'm expecting this to be really gentle on the face um, and it also is supposed to deshine and mattify your face, which if you guys have been with me for a little bit, I am always looking for things to matte out the shine. I, I have a pretty oily t-zone and I don't like it, which is why even when I do my makeup, I never use highlighters because it just looks like sweat on me. I was one of the unfortunate ones that cannot pull off that look. So um, really anxious to see how this takes away oils and cleans my face. So a few other things about this product, it has um, lava volcanic beads inside of it, which are really good for your face. When I reviewed the Innisfree Volcanic Trio, all of that had volcanic clusters inside their products to exfoliate the skin and it worked really really well so this also is paraben free um, it has minerals inside of it all around very clean skincare so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it on if you would like any more details like i mentioned earlier i will attach both of these products down below so feel free to click on them and check them out also i am going to dampen my face with a wet cloth before i put this on since it does have little micro particles to scrub your face on a dry face it will probably hurt a little bit so just put a little bit of water to dampen your face um, and depending on how your skin tolerates the micro beads inside um, keep applying water to have it be more gentle on your skin holy smokes this is really thick and all i see are beads it's all i see whoa Wow, that fuzzed up fast. Okay, so a few thoughts before I wipe this off. So first off, it's not burning at all. Um, second off, it is really, 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 really scrubby. I would not use this twice a week um, unless you want to tear your face off. <laughs> This is, once a week is more than enough. Honestly, this has more microparticle scrubbing beads than most scrubbing products I have used in a while. The one really extreme scrubbing product I use by Volition that I use max once every other week, this equals it. So I would not use this twice a week. Um, it does feel like it's exfoliating, like it's removing dead skin. I mean, it is really rough on the skin and it's totally doing its job, but I just wouldn't recommend using it more than once a week. So I'm gonna take this off. I wanna see what my face looks like after I've scrubbed it and then we'll get into the mask. Okay guys, sorry if my face looks a little red. I may have um, tried to pop some pimples <laughs> after I got my scrub off, but I will note that when I went to the bathroom to wipe off the scrub and I applied a little bit more water and diluted it a little bit, it was a smidgen gentler. It was still, in my opinion, a very extreme face scrub that I would do once a week max. Um, but I loved the way that it cleaned my face. It really like brought out the dirt in my pores, kind of brought it to the surface and I used really hot water. So that also helped open my pores up. So the pimple popping lover in me came out and <laughs> popped some stuff. I don't recommend you do that. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Don't pop pimples is bad for you, even though I'm going to pop pimples for the rest of my life. I know it. Anyways, I really like the scrub. It felt fantastic on my skin. It was one of those that I just felt like it was working. I would highly suggest if you get this to just leave it in your shower because since it is filled with particles, um, it took me a hot minute to get it all off. So it would be much easier in the shower where you don't care to have water run down your clothes or like drip all on the side of the sink. It's just, it's the shower. So I'm very happy with that. Totally recommended. Totally Angelica approved. Gets an A+. Plus. Now I'm going to go in with this mask and see if it works just as well. All right, another first impressions. Taking the little metal thing off. Smells just the same as the scrub did. It's very fresh, clean. So it says to leave this on for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on. This is a classic creamy mask. Oh, I love these kind of masks. The green ones, I'm always, I love. Alrighty, so the mask is clearly everywhere. Holy smokes, it is burning the areas that I just kind of opened my blemishes up right around my nose, right down here. 
oh, my face is on fire right now but i feel like it's really cleaning like cleaning so much and it's burning up here a little bit and i didn't really push any pimples here um but i have had some irritation lately on my forehead uh i'm not really sure why but i've just been getting a few little breakouts there and it is burning up there so i feel like it's kind of cleaning those it's a good burn it's not one of those like i feel like i'm in trouble kind of burns this is like i feel like it's cleaning me really really well kind of burns so this mask is not a hardening mask it stays like this the nutrients and minerals inside of it sink into your skin you leave it on for 10 ish minutes as i mentioned and take it off i kind of like that because the ones that harden although i love the masks that get really hard and like suck the dirt out of your face you can't like talk or do anything while that mask is on so this mask you can talk you can sip on your wine you can do whatever you'd like um, because it doesn't harden it's just it's a soft mask this also does retail for 34 dollars now i wouldn't say that I applied this conservatively. I used as much as I felt like I needed, which was a good portion of the bottle. I would say you get like five uses out of this and it recommends you use this once a week. So just like a little over a month. Um, so that's up to you if you want to repurchase a mask that often, but I, I'm liking the way it feels. Um, I just wish it came in a bigger bottle. Honestly, Clarence, give us the bigger bottle option, please. So this is for combination to oily skin. So this is like the perfect match for my skin in particular. Um, I, I would consider myself to have combination skin. I get a pretty oily T-zone, but some days I'm just as dry as they could be. Like today, actually, I had literally flaking skin. So I was like, what's going on? I'm not sure. Um, so I have really confusing combination skin. So this is actually supposed to work best on someone with my skin type. This also is supposed to pure and mattify. There we go again with that mattify, love it. This is supposed to visibly tighten pores, it's supposed to minimize shine, hallelujah. It's supposed to revive radiance and it also fights against pollution. So once you use it, it's supposed to make sure all of those nasty things that we come in contact with do not come to our face or if you have not used it and you use it at the end of your day after you've been out, it's supposed to get rid of them. So. Um, everything about this mask sounds good. I'm really anxious to see how my skin feels after I've taken it off. It still feels like it's working, y'all. Like that little burning, tingling sensation has not gone away. So I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes and then take it off and see what we think. All right, guys, it's been a little over 10 minutes. I can still move my face, so it definitely doesn't harden up. I'm gonna go wash it off, see what my face looks like and how it's feeling, then just put a moisturizer on and we'll call it a video. All right, guys, just took the mask off. Holy smokes, my face felt like butter when it was taking the mask off. It felt so good. And now my face feels so matte and so clean, so clean. And also, like, the redness is gone. I don't know if y'all can kind of tell, with the exception of this, which this is like a pimple, um, everything else is, like, very even. Um, and I really like that. It was pretty much an immediate result. So this is one of those products where constant use, I feel like, will just give you amazing results. So yeah, I really don't mind this product. I like it a lot. I will definitely continue to use it. Um, I will be repurchasing other things because I want to continue to try out Clarence. I feel like Clarence is kind of like underrated. Um, I tried out one makeup product of theirs. I loved it. And now this is the first skincare product I've tried of them and I love it as well. So I don't have much else to say other than I really like it and I totally recommend it. If you're looking for a budget friendly, um, great quality skincare product, I totally recommend these two products. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, continue to use some of their other products. But other than that, I have nothing else to say. So when I was going from the bathroom to <laughs> back to the studio, um, I had a cute little friend who was staring at me looking like, oh, hot fingers, looking like he wanted to come say hi so now he's camera shy and looking the other way but thought i would bring him in to say hi you say hi to everyone on youtube binky we had a vet appointment today he was a grumpy boy and so he just wants to sleep and be bad you tried to eat daddy's fendi wallet did it you yeah <laughs> so just wanted to hop on with my little baby binky he is growing so fast every single day. It's breaking my heart. 
I wish he was still the size he was when we took him home, which was easily half the size he is now. So anyways, guys, I hope this video helped y'all. If you were interested in these products and you wanted to see um, if they were worth you buying. And other than that, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.